In this video, we will show you how to get started with graphics applications using our SAM 9x60 Curiosity Development Board and MPLAB Code Configurator, also known as MCC. We will highlight some of the features of this board and discuss the hardware and software that you will need to develop your application. If you are new to MCC, we recommend that you watch the following videos before you get started. You will find links to the videos in the description for this video. This project is based on a SAM 9x60 D1G High Performance Ultra Low Power ARM 926 EJS based embedded microprocessor running at up to 600 MHz with 1 gigabit of integrated DDR2 memory. In this video, we will use a SAM 9x60 Curiosity Development Board and a high performance WVGA LCD display module with Max Touch technology. Other hardware requirements are a J32 debug probe and a micro USB cable to power the Curiosity Board. Before we get started, here are some of the features that are available on the board. One RGB LED, one user input switch, one mechanical reset button, external non-volatile memory including NAND, SD and microSD interfaces, a JTAG debug interface, a micro USB power supply, an LCD interface, a UART debug serial interface, two CAN interfaces, Raspberry Pi and Microbus connectors. We have provided the link to the product page for this board in the video's description so you can learn more about its features and capabilities. Let's get started with our project. First, we need to power the board by connecting a micro USB cable to J1. Connect the external J32 debugger to J12 to enable debugging. Connect the WVGA display to the LCD connector at J13. To get started with debugging graphics applications on this board, launch MPLabX IDE. From the main menu, click on File and then New Project. Choose 32-bit MCC Harmony Project and then click Next. For Framework Path, choose the location on your PC where you want to download the MPLab Harmony V3 framework. Click Next. In the Project Settings window, provide the location for the project, folder, and the project name, click Next. In the Configuration Settings window, provide the name of the configuration. For the device family, select SAM, and for target device, select SAM 9x60 D1G. Click Finish. This creates an empty project and launches MCC. You can also launch MCC by clicking the MCC icon in the toolbar. This will launch the MCC Content Manager wizard. Then select MPLab Harmony. Download these required packages, CSP, DevPacks, and QuickDocs. Also download these optional packages, BSP, Core, Graphics, Graphics SAM 9x60, and Reference App. Then click Finish. This download will take some time. After all the files are downloaded, verify the Harmony content path then save the MCC configuration file in the project directory. Now, the project graph will be launched. Choose the SAM 9x60 Curiosity BSP from the device resource. Under Graphics Templates, choose Legato Graphics PDA TM5000 Display. Then answer yes to all pop-ups and no to free RTOS. This will create an entire project graph with all the necessary connections. Configure the Flexcom 6 two-wire interface for I2C communication to enable touch. Update the Flexcom 6 frequency to 100 kHz. The SAM 9X60 Curiosity board has an RGB 666 interface, so set the LELCDC driver output color mode to 18 bits per pixel. Now from the project graph, launch the pin configuration. Go to pin settings and enable pull-ups for the Flexcom 6 clock and data pins. Now click Save. If you generate code at this stage, you can see C code for all these peripherals added into the project graph. Now launch the Microchip Graphics Composer plugin from the project graph. Choose Create a new project. From the preset option, choose WVGA as the display size. Click Apply. Click Next. Choose RGBA8888 for the color mode.
click Next. For Memory Profile, choose MPU, click Next. Then choose Start with a basic Quick Start Project Template and then click Finish. This will create a basic Quick Start Template screen. Save the design files by clicking on File, Save As in the main menu. Create a file name formatted with configuration name and then underscore design. Save it inside the project configuration folder. This will ensure that the design file will open automatically when Microchip Graphics Composer is launched. Now click on File and generate your code. Then exit MGC. Go to Resource Management and then click Generate Code. Wait for the code generation to be completed. In the Project Configuration directory, you will see the generated C code for your new Quick Start graphics design file. Go to Project Properties and then choose the external J32 debugger, which should be connected to your system. Click Apply. Download the SAM 9x60 graphics getting started project from SAM 9x60 Curiosity product page given in the description of this video. Now go to Bootstrap and choose the AD91 Bootstrap.elf file from the SAM 9x60 graphics getting started directory in the downloaded project. Now go to Building and enter the command to generate the .bin file from the hex file that is provided in the description of this video. Now clean and build the application. When this is complete, you will see a build success message in the output log. In the Legato renderer file, assign the no cache attribute section to the dot region no cache memory location defined in the linker file where scratch buffers will be allocated. Now go to Tools, Option, Embedded to choose where the debugger has to halt after the reset. Press the Debug button. It will build and program the application to the external RAM. Now you will be able to debug by step in, step out, halt, or simply run. If you run the application, you will be able to see the Quick Start template application running on your SAM 9x60 Curiosity development board. To run the application from microSD card, take a microSD card and format it from your PC. Locate the boot.bin file in your downloaded project as shown and copy it onto the SD card. Copy the harmony.bin file from your project folder onto the SD card. Eject the SD card from your PC. Put the micro SD card in J3 micro SD card slot and press the reset button. Now you will be able to see the quick start template application running on your SAM 9x60 Curiosity development board. Visit our GitHub pages to find more application demos for the SAM 9x60 Curiosity development board. Use the link provided in the description for this video. We have also provided a link to the Microchip University course about Microchip Graphics Composer. And finally, please visit microchip.com harmony where you can find out about all the features, benefits and all other information on MPLAB Harmony version 3. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. Thanks for watching.